Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tarot page. You are watching the Energy and Star Sign reading for the sign of Taurus for the month of March 2022. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So what we will do in this reading, we will have a look at your overall energy uh, before we then go into your emotional core to see what's going on with um, any trauma that can leave or maybe new beginnings with regards to love, all that kind of stuff. And then finally, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2022. Now remember, the month of March is Pisces energy because we're in the sign of Pisces for the most part. And Pisces is all about emotions because Neptune is the governing planet for the sign of Pisces. Um, he is the gods of the sea. The water is all about uh, renewal, it's all about, you know, um, maybe having a good cry, tears are sacred medicine, yeah, so there's a lot of healing going on in the months of March, as always, and since March is the third month, and three is the number of progression, what the, the energy of Pisces also does to all star signs is to ask you to not sit any longer with stuff that doesn't quite work for you. So that's just a bit about the energy that all star signs are in. Now let's have a look at um, Taurians for the months of March. Very interesting. <laughs> no, really. Because you have the red-headed woodpecker and the ring-necked pheasant. While the woodpecker tells you the overall energy for the months of March for the star sign of Taurus, right, in the year 2022. The woodpecker is saying to you, no matter what life throws at you, at this point in time, you will manage. You are on top of it, you get the hang of it, you will handle everything and anything the universe sends you. So don't worry about not getting through things. Importantly though, you have the ring-necked pheasant as the other animal guide for your over energy. And the pheasant is literally denoting being misunderstood, no matter how clearly you actually communicate, right? So, overall energy for Taurians is to understand that whatever happens in, 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 in April, in March for Taurus, you will manage, right? But maybe, you know, if people don't want to understand you, fuck them, right? If they don't want to understand you, screw them, right? Tell them, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say my piece five times. Right? If you're not listening and you clearly understand what I'm saying, but you don't want to understand it, they're not asking you to be to be in your face like my guys just made me talk. Um, but it is understanding that sometimes you know you 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 have a tendency. Toreans have the tendency quite a bit um, to wanting peace, really, and ex over explaining yourself. Right, if that makes sense. And once I know how to push your buttons, I can make you feel guilty easily, which is another thing that Taurians really have as an imprint that is hard to, 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 uh, to counteract, if that makes sense, right? So Taurians, by default, at times you can have a very low self-esteem, um, which is why you have the bull, so we are louder, why you have your self-esteem rocked. All the guides are saying is, whatever the universe is sending you in the month of March 2022 for your sign of Taurus, for Taurians or Taurus, can't speak, um, you will be fine, but please don't over explain yourself. And if you feel that people are not listening, pointless saying things again, right? Let's look at your emotions, Taurians. We're looking at the months of March 2022. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. With regards to your emotions, you will notice that you seem or you tend to go through the same emotions. It is always the same type of pain that comes to you. It is also, this is the, the energy I'm getting, it is for, for, especially for you in relationships, it is also always the same people, or maybe even the same person, that causes the issue, because you have the ground talk, which means it's repetitious, right? So you know, that shit never gonna last, right? So we talk about it, it, it stays better for five weeks, we have great times, and then the circle and the cycle starts again. And you have the sparrowhawk, 
while the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide. Right, so what they're saying is, go with the flow, right, by all means, but assess whether or not you actually have made any real progress in whatever relationship, work-wise or love-wise, <laughs> still isn't a word, um, you tend to have the same issues time and again, uh, because that is the area that you really ought to look at to make some lasting changes for the better. Right? Torians, let's have a look at opportunities. Let's have a look what's happening in the month of March 2022. Now, you have the opossum, short and sweet. Opportunities can come your way and are coming your way, but you have to see them. The opossum basically uh, is a bit like the mouse. The mouse and the opossum are two rodents that are not scared of heights. Therefore, the, the message becomes um, that, sorry, you see the world exactly the way it is, right? Exactly the way it is. And so um, you will understand when things come to you, whether or not they actually fit or if they are actually too good to be true, all that kind of stuff. You have, you have an innate understanding of what's truth. And um, all they're saying is with regards to opportunities, the universe is, is actually sending you opportunities, but sometimes you just don't look at them. You just don't see them. So please, please, please don't think, you know, I need um, some changes here to have a better life. It is not how this works to reals. <clears throat> Anything from the outside cannot make your life better. Because energetically speaking, they give me a really weird thing, but I, but I, have, I know a few Torians. <laughs> and sometimes when there are issues, they sort of, um, they buy stuff, right? Sort of frustration buy, uh, buys kind of stuff. So you buy stuff, you, 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 you make the outside world beautiful, so it is easier for you to live in it, right? Um, which is very Torian. You also want a really beautiful um, place, right? So they're not knocking you, not knocking you at all. But please understand that the moment you go to your bloody credit card and say like, oh, I'm going to buy, you know, you could be the person that really feels shit about your life. And then you kind of go like, okay, I need a break. And instead of spending it in nature, you go to the hairdresser, right? So it's things like this because you want to make sure that your appearance is better than you feel. It's a Taurian trait, unfortunately. All I'm getting for you with regards to opportunities. Look at how you feel inside and make changes how you truly feel because the universe can only answer anything you ask for on your energy. So if you are frustrated or your great looks and your beautiful place in the end won't make your life any better. Anyway, Taurians, that was that. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe and share and also share the video. Um, I hear it all the time. Yeah, but I don't know if my friends are Toreans. I don't care. Share anyway. <laughs> because the more Toreans, you know, the guides can reach, the more guidance we can give to people. All right. Okie dokie. So that was all I got. Toreans, see you next month. Bye-bye.